Huh, well, how about that? Um, ladies, gentlemen, and whatever kind of thing you happen to feel like calling yourself. Um, I might not actually finish this project because capturing gameplay like this from the PS4 is for me a very... <laughs> well... Uh, okay, why don't I just walk you through what I need to do uh, to, to get uh, gameplay footage from my PS4 like this. Um, what I need to do is, first of all, obviously detach the uh, HDMI uh, uh, cable from my AV receiver and connect that to my capture device. But then the fun starts. Um, there is a delay between what I get from the uh, capture device to what appears in the capture uh, software recording window. Um, and for whatever reason, I can't get video to my TV. I don't know why that is. I suspect it's uh, something about uh, bypassing the, uh, uh, the receiver and for some funny reason it doesn't like me when I don't use the receiver, I don't know, it's just technology shen shenanigans. Um, so what I'm doing right now is I have PlayStation 4 Remote Play installed on my lovely little PC. And uh, it doesn't run at uh, full uh, 60 frames per second. <laughs> Which is uh, a little bit of a problem. Let me see if I can just uh, make some things happen there. Okay, no, it, I can't change settings. Okay. Uh, well, it doesn't show uh, 60 frames per second output. Um, I don't know what that will mean for me as a, in terms of motion sickness, which I often get in uh, some, uh, well, shall we say, camera intensive <laughs> uh, games I do well anyway um, the plans for this playthrough is to just uh, uh, watch some footage uh, you know and reflect on what we see so it doesn't really rely on a quick camera craziness so uh, I'm somewhat optimistic but the thing is, I will still need to play it <laughs> uh, with the, yeah, suboptimal <laughs> uh, frame rate. Um, so, okay. Uh, so, yeah, what I want to say with that is that um, I can't actually guarantee that I will basically follow this through to the end. Uh, that's a bit of a setback. Um, I will try, but uh, hey, gotta be honest. Um, so, greetings everyone who is still watching. Um, this is something new for me. I'm going to try to do a let's overthink near Automata so it's not going to be a complete playthrough straight from the uh, beginning to the end instead I'm going to just well I mean there, there's a fuck ton of let's plays already for this game and I am not skilled enough at this game to you know warrant butting in basically uh, but there is something I still feel that most let's players don't do for this game and that is reflect on the philosophical aspects and uh, yeah, you know point out some uh, meta shenanigans that this game gets up to uh, I mean I will overlap with some okay if, and uh, I am going to put a link in the video description to another uh, let's player who uh, I personally recommend he 
uh, discusses the gameplay design, well, game design questions a lot, so he, he's very insightful in that respect. He doesn't uh, delve into the philosophy though, He, well, it's, that's not really something he cares about. I will say that um, what he says about game design kind of actually touches on some of what I mean to say. But, um, yeah. Uh, so, this is gonna be Let's Overthink near Automata. While I will not post a complete playthrough, I will capture everything and just cut off the stuff I will not use, basically. So, uh, oh yeah, and as I said, uh, for th those uh, parts of the game um, where I will use uh, gameplay, uh, fighting uh, uh, footage and stuff, keep in mind, I am not skilled. I will try, I, I will play this game on easy, I will play this game with auto chips, I will not use auto attack, but I will use auto fire and auto evade when I can. So, <laughs> you know, just if I pull off some amazing dodge, it's not me. It's my PS4. Okay? All good? Um, right. Let's get this party started.